Hey everybody, welcome back to the Quick Dash Truck Builders C10 project. We've got the um, body completely stripped off the frame, taken down to every little part, and we're fixing to load it up on the trailer and head over to the media blasters. So uh, once we get it back, we'll be able to see what kind of sheet metal work and what kind of damage there is. So uh, stay tuned here, we're going to knock some paint off. truck builders. We're out at Soft Strip Media Blasting out in uh, Rosenberg, Texas and they just finished cleaning up the parts of the body for us here. This is the cab. It's all nice and clean and as usual after the media blasting's done we found a whole lot of little spots we're gonna have to do some sheet metal work on but they did a great job on it and uh, we're gonna load it on up and head back to the shop.
Rosenberg at Soft Strip Media Blasting. This is Craig, he's one of the owners, and uh, we're out here to pick up the 65 Chevy. And Craig, it looks great. Like y'all did a great job on it. Thank you. Thank you. See what you have now. Yeah. <laughs> Some of it we didn't want to see. We're done. Your work's just started. I know. <laughs> now, what do y'all use exactly to blast it? With? Uh, we use uh, primarily walnut shell. It's the only uh, material that's not hard enough to cause enough friction to cause warping of your light gauge panels. Okay. Uh, whenever we get a rust bucket, not as this one was, but we do occasionally come across one, we'll see it in uh, two to three percent of ultra fine glass feed, which is good for the rust because the walnut shell is real good on paint, on the coating. When it comes to the rust, it doesn't do much. So okay. that's what the glass feed is for. But we can only put in a nominal amount because it is hard. Right. And that's where you would uh, experience warping if you use too much. Okay. Well, I know we looked it over and there's no warping we can see anywhere. No, no, great. straight, straight panels. I mean, if it was warped, we came in one. Right. So. <laughs> well, a couple of them were, so. Yeah. But, uh, that's we've, we've, done, we've done uh, fiberglass as well. We have to be real careful with it. We can actually remove paint from fiberglass wow. without getting into the fiber. That's pretty good. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a general process. We're not real efficient on the heavier gauge uh, uh, materials. Uh, you're better off sandblasting you know, the frames. Uh, we can do frames just takes a little bit longer. Okay. It's guaranteed damage free. Okay. And environmentally safe. Well, that sounds good. Well, I know I was in the paint booth the other day when we first brought it out here with, um, what's his name? Carl? Carl. Carl. Yeah, with Blaster. Carl. Yes, sir. And I was going to try to video a little bit, but right. after about five seconds, I couldn't see anything. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, he, he uh, helped us get it unloaded and gave us a little demo of what y'all were doing. So, it looks great. Fantastic. Well, it take, takes us 25 to 30 hours to uh, turn around a car. We have a rotisserie that we bolt it up to. Okay. In order to flip it over, get every nook and cranny. Okay. And uh, uh, it makes a real nice surface for cutting and welding if you've got any metal work. Right. So. so now we need to get that prime pretty quick too, I guess. Uh, it'll hold as long as you have, don't have any direct moisture. Uh, okay. Or if it's a day where there's a lot of humidity, for instance, where your floors are sweating. Okay. Uh, but I've had a cab in here, now that cab that's in there, we've had in there for I think about three months. I wish the guy could oh, pick right. it up, and you can see that it's got virtually no rust. It looks like it was just done. Yeah, yeah it was about three months ago. Well, Matter of fact, I'll sell it if you like. <laughs> for storage fees or for fair uh, market value? We don't do that. <laughs> I wish you'd come pick it up. Well, this will be going in our shop. It's air conditioned, so oh, it should be fine. pretty good. Yeah. Well, you can see where they've uh, they touched you with their hand. I mean, you'd be okay, but you know, you have nothing to lower. Right. We just go where that was the memory call or something. I actually it's working there, so you get the self Okay. Alright. Well hey, I appreciate it. And we'll be sending some more business out Thank your you. way. Thank you. So Soft trip media blasting. There you go.